It's the sound <laughs> everyone dreads. I genuinely thought I'd when sneeze. Sit <laughs> <laughs> when sitting next to a colleague with the sniffles. Um, <laughs> but some bosses are so keen to keep employees working, they're paying them to not take sick leave. Yeah, this is a council in Italy offering rubbish collectors a bonus if they show up every working day until January to ensure that the city is kept clean over Christmas. Meanwhile, here in the UK, it's reported Amazon has introduced a £50 weekly bonus for staff who have 100% attendance. Is it right to offer that sort of incentive to go to work when you're sick? Uh, especially in the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> To work full stop because you don't want to spread it you don't want to you want to get over it and things like that but if someone in your company i guess is prone to taking the odd day when they shouldn't then yeah encourage them again if you've got a problem mental health is very important and i think even if it is a duvet day and they're not physically sick mentally they might just need a day of rest you should get a bonus every year if you don't take any sick it will be an incentive for people that have a good work ethic um, and it might be a deterrent for people taking like the odd sick duvet day well, we're joined now by James Ryan, a business owner who pays his staff extra for not taking sick days, and entrepreneur Izzy Obeng, who wouldn't dream of offering this to her team. Uh, James, let's come to you first. I mean, it seems Please. like um, a, a really strange thing to do in the middle of a pandemic when we are really worried about getting ill, people getting very seriously ill. Shouldn't we be more cautious than actually incentivising people to come in, even if they might feel a little bit ill? Yeah, absolutely. I understand where you're coming from. I think the key thing to get across here is we're not, um, you know, forcing people into work. We're just purely incentivizing people by building a, the right culture that, um, look, you know, come, come to work um, and chances are you may end up feeling better. But if they are really unwell, of course, we don't want them to come in. It's it's not a we don't penalise people for, for not attending. It's more a case of incentivising people to say, you know, come on, we can we can get through this. Um, <laughs> OK, I understand what you mean, except you kind of are penalising people, aren't you? Because if they do take a sick day, then they don't get the, the extra cash boost. So, actually, you, you're sort of... You are making people come to work if they want to get the money... When you say you're changing the culture, do you think there is a problem with people taking sick days when they're not sick? Is that effectively what you're saying? I think I think it's fair to say that we can all hold our hands up at some point in time and say that we have, you know, tried to pull a sickie or had, as one of the uh, viewers mentioned there, a duvet day. Um, and again, you, you you get to know people's character, and you know if, if they've overindulged, let's say. Um, you, you, you know, when they're trying to pull a bit of a fast one, but we're not, uh, I do totally understand what you mean, but when it comes to a culture, we have like uh, occupational therapists uh, that would come in and talk to people as well. We had Ollie Ollerton, who was uh, on the SAS, he who dares wins, come to the office the other day as well. And he was just really talking about his life experiences. And I think that also when people wake up with the sniffles, they think oh, I can get through this, but obviously we do not want people in the office <laughs> who are coughing, sputtering everywhere. up and to be like special forces <laughs> oh, no. soldiers. And frankly, <laughs> unless you've been through what one of those special forces soldiers has been through, you're, having a sniffle is not going to cut it. I, I, OK, I get what it must be like to work for you as no. a boss, <laughs> man, James. Izzy, what do you think about bribing people not to oh, pull a sickie? I just, I, it's really about the type of culture you want to build and what the messages you're giving to your employees, even the language, pulling a fast one. Um, I think especially as we come out COVID and we're all trying to get back into work and being more in the office, if you genuinely don't feel unwell, I think it's important that your employer gives you the um, acknowledgement that they care about your well-being um, and that they don't want you to um, impact your colleagues in any way. Um, if you've got the right culture within an organisation, I feel like we do at Founderine, for example, um, then people shouldn't feel like they have to pull a sick day if they don't want to come into work. They should feel like they can have an adult conversation uh, with their line manager. So if you've got a lot of people taking sick days, ask yourself, is it the right culture you've got where people don't want to come into work, even if they're not feeling, um, you know, too sick? It's tough, though, isn't it, for lots of small businesses at the moment, Izzy, you know, especially with staff shortages in many industries. It's really tough. Uh, you know, a member of staff not coming in because they think they might be ill, they've got a bit of a sniffle, or they're hungover, could be really damaging for business. So you can understand why James is having to address that issue, really, at a time like this. 
Absolutely. But is he treating the cause or um, is it just um, a way to kind of bat away the real issue, which is that uh, the sort of organisation or the ways of working or the way things are done internally don't quite work enough for people to want to come in enough? Are people motivated to come in? It's definitely not that at all. I mean, James, come back back with that. Oh, I'm coming back, don't you worry. Come on. Like an SAS soldier coming back. No, Start, our staff's mental well-being's actually improved. Productivity's improved. You know, uh, again, like, like going back to the culture, it's just purely a way of saying, look, if, if you are feeling a bit down in the dumps, we have obviously had people that have had the mental health side of thing impacted because of COVID. Um, but again, we, we consider ourselves to be a family at Grow Square Galleries. If you look at the education system, for an example, um, I think that my son is due to have like a 97% attendance rate. So again, it's just about, I know I'm not saying we, we're teachers, but it's just about following through with that culture as well. Yeah. Um, you know, and again, sometimes people, when they get up in the morning, and they come into work, they do battle on through um, and they seem to be fine. So like I say, the productivity has increased, but statutory pay, statutory sick pay, it, it's, it's like okay. a joke. Right. So if, if someone genuinely is ill, we, we give them full pay. OK, we'll have um, to leave it there. Good ja- for you. We good are running out of time. But, uh, James okay. Ryan, CEO, Grove Square Galleries, Thank and Izzy Obeng, entrepreneur and director of Foundervine. Thank you for both for joining us this morning.